Denver and Rio Grande Western had some maintenance away cars that they used for water service, which was essentially the water tower and underlying pipes and infrastructure. Uh, this was essentially a crew car, so they would sleep and use it as a kitchen as well. So this kit is defined as a craftsman style kit, although it's really not that difficult and intimidating as you think it would be. There's actually parts of it that are the main body is actually put together. Um, the instructions aren't too bad if as long as you follow them. So one or two parts maybe to get a little unclear. Uh, but there is a diagram associated with it, so it does help quite a bit as far as putting some of the pieces or some of the brake lines or that type of thing. Research on the web is also very helpful uh, to use as uh, some reference photos. The uh, main body of the kit is a lot like this one. This picture is actually a reefer kit by the same company, but essentially the box with a metal weight inside the body of the box is um, all essentially put together, but you do have a considerable amount of stuff to put together um, beyond that. Uh, the, there are drawings that are scale. You can see here there's a roof walk that's about to be added, and it's essentially the same size as the roof walk that's in the diagram. So you can kind of put things against the diagram and use that, which is very helpful. So once you get started with the body, uh, you do need to take some pieces out so you can get the uh, windows and doors in. But you'll notice the doors are very thin compared to the width of the opening. So you have to cut some of the pieces of the siding that is supplied so that it can fill in the gap. So there's a lot of test fitting with getting the plastic door, putting it in place and removing it and that type of thing. So you can see that this side is the opposite side. This has two windows on it. The reverse side has a single window on it. Other than that, the door placement's the same. The bottom, all of these uh, beam pieces are also assembled. So there's a large amount of work that you don't have to do. And you, when you do uh, start, all of these pieces are already square and trued up, which is really nice. So. Um, you're starting from a pretty good base point. Uh, the very first step that you do is you take uh, one of the pieces and you thicken up the, uh, uh, the little ledger board on the very bottom of the edge of the boxcar and uh, that helps give the door to the boxcar something to attach to. Um, depending on the type of couplers that you use, you may have to open up the notch at the end I was using KD couplers so I had to widen the notch for the coupler that was going to stick out and uh, make sure it's all nice and square so it looks pretty when you, when you uh, screw the coupler in. Um, to make sure the profile of the roof line looked okay uh, I added some a little piece of trim so the profile came out pretty well and it's uh, taped on here and while it's drying but you'll see in the next photo what it actually looks like. Uh, you can see the uh, the windows and doors are going to get constantly put in place and removed because I'm constantly test fitting everything making sure it's nice and square and snug when it goes in. Uh, this next upcoming picture it's kind of hard to see but right at the very edge there's a, a little roof trim piece. Uh, it helps match with the uh, photographs that I found in research uh, for the car what it actually looked like. So you could probably skip that step. It's certainly not going to be noticeable but I like to add it. Um, this step we are adding the trim pieces around the door. The door is just sitting in place. It won't get glued in until much later. Uh, but you can see the trim pieces on the left and right side of the door. Um, here we see some of the uh, plastic pieces that came with it. These are uh, basically brackets on each side of the each corner of the uh, car itself. Um, I left one out because I saw one was missing in the actual photos, the prototype photos that I found.
Um, uh, you can see the gap to the door is closed. Uh, trim pieces are in place, and there's a piece on the very bottom that's in the, at the very bottom of the door, uh, and the siding underneath it. The, so it's ready for the door to go in when we get there. Um, you can see there's a lot of uh, ladder pieces, some brass wire pieces that we're going to add. Uh, this is what the corner of this water service car looks like. The opposite corner looks exactly this, as this one does. Um, the bottom side, there's a few uh, plastic pieces and a lot of brass wire for the truss rods to attach those underneath. This, this is a good place to really just take your time. When you're getting tired, step away. <laughs> uh, you can see the brake wheel, wheel is in place. Uh, this is a good shot of the end, all the detail. Um, also, the uh, roof walk's been attached, and there's a little bracket underneath there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a, a little gray plastic piece. Um, that gets a set attached at this step, too. Um, the stirrups underneath the uh, grab irons and underneath the step, those are in place. And the smoke uh, jack is also in place. Uh, again, the windows and doors are just there to kind of make sure everything gets attached correctly, but we're not going to attach those later. Uh, the reason why we keep delaying on that step is because uh, we want to uh, make sure that they get painted, and then when after it's painted, we want to make sure that we get uh, some acetate, some glass behind those windows so that they, uh, they look good and the glass doesn't get painted over. Now it's starting to look a lot more like the water service car. Um, I used uh, paints that I mixed, some um, PVL paints that were pretty close and I just kind of test mixed till I got a good mixture. Uh, so we painted the top, the bottom. Um, the roof is actually coated with a little bit of white glue and then sanded smooth so you wouldn't see wood grain. But everywhere else on the car uh, we like the effect, the wood grain effect. So the end of the car um, is starting to come together. We've got some getting the couplers added. Uh, you'll notice that the decals are starting to get applied. Uh, Microsol and Microset help, but the grooves are so deep that I actually cut each of the grooves, the, the decals across uh, each of the, the gaps by hand, every single one. Uh, Everything's getting painted. The doors and windows are painted now, so we're getting close to adding those. We still need to add the glass, and then we can pop those in. Uh, again, decals. Uh, very, take your time. Nice straight decals. Um, just looks so much better. And once you get the decals uh, in place and you get them attached, then cutting each of the gaps uh, across is uh, very, very helpful. Uh, it allows some of the solution to set even further. Uh, on the bottom side here, you can see that we have the couplers. Their couplers are getting attached. Uh, and the next step after the couplers are on, once everything is perfect there, because you really want to avoid any kind of uh, trucks hitting those, uh, is putting the trucks on. Now the car is really coming together. Um, the trucks are screwed in and you do have that metal plate inside the body, but the metal plate won't extend to where the couplers and the trucks are. So you can actually screw the pieces in up as far as you need to, and it won't hit that metal plate. Uh, now the doors and windows are have the uh, plastic piece sit on, sitting on the back side of it. So the um, windows and doors are in place and the decals have been um, again attached and use the microsol and microset as much as you can and on top of that even um, literally taking a blade and cutting down the groove of every single gap 
in the boards across the decals. That was that's a little nerve wracking. So if uh, you don't mind the film running across the the boards, the gaps, you know, then you can leave it that way. But overall, this was really not a difficult kit. It did take some time. Uh, it it pays to look at the diagrams and make sure everything is going in like you anticipate, read ahead, make sure you have all the parts, don't make any assumptions because they usually come and bite you in the butt. But if you do decide to, I hope you try this kit. Uh, it looks fantastic when it's done and I'm pretty happy with it.